What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Microsoft Flow Controls and we're looking at Scope. So what is Scope? Scope in a Microsoft Flow allows you to add in a bunch of actions inside a single step. So kind of think of it like a way to um, you know, tidy up a flow or uh, think about it if you come from a, a Dynamics 365 world, maybe a workflow step. So let's take a look at it inside this Microsoft Flow. So I'm on a Microsoft Flow here and we click on new step and we click on control and we have this option for scope here. So as you can see, we've kind of got this scope step here and we can add in a few more things. So we could add in creating a record in the common data service. We could add in um, something else, say maybe send me a mobile notification, uh, and we can add in a couple of things here. So what the purpose of this is, is it kind of like keeps all these things together. So if you have common actions, maybe you need to do multiple things as part of your flow. So maybe when a response is submitted with Microsoft Forms, we could have a scope that literally just creates a bunch of CDS records. Then after that, uh, we need to do something else. Maybe we have another stroke that creates a bunch of um, SharePoint records. So if we go to SharePoint, uh, we could add in uh, SharePoint. Uh, we could create a file in there. Um, there we go. Uh, we could create another file. We could update a file. This allows us to break down the break down what we are doing into big chunks. Now, this is particularly useful if you have really big flows with a lot of complex logic or a lot of complex, you know, creation across multiple things. So we could rename this to something like Scope CDS Records, and we change this to be something like Scope Scope SharePoint Records. And things like that. This allows us to kind of neatly contain our Microsoft flow. Whereas if we had like 15 CDS records followed by 15 SharePoint records followed by 15, you know, updates to OneDrive or something else, then this would be a massive flow that would be really hard to read and really hard to update. Whereas if we use Scope, we can put things in nice neat little boxes and kind of format things together. Uh, and that allows for a bit of neat and tidiness inside of Microsoft Flow. So I don't think this is a very well-known uh, you know, control inside Microsoft Flow. It's definitely something I'm going to be using in future for all my uh, future flows that are big and complicated. So what do you guys think? What do you use Scope for at the moment? Do you use Scope? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please like and share this video with your friends. And uh, I hope you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Bye.